click on create and now we have a nice thumbnail template. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up the folder that, that where I have all the stuff in that I need. So as you can see right now, I have two kind of blue textures, myself, a black line, and the, the thumbnail of this video. So we're, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with dragging in myself. So this is like me. <laughs> What is happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. It is Tuesday, so it means a brand new Photoshop tutorial and in this episode I'm going to show you guys how to create an awesome thumbnail. Now first of all I want to uh, mention that I can already hear you guys thinking, dude, there are a thousand and one uh, kind of options to make a great thumbnail, but for me, what I always do to create my thumbnails in Photoshop, I'm going to show you guys how to make a thumbnail real quick, real cool, and I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already for more Photoshop tutorials every Tuesday. So with that being said, let's get started. So as you can see, we are on Photoshop as always on Tuesday, and right here I made a new project, the resolution on the thumbnail. People say it's, it's uh, I think it was 18... Wait, let me think. Uh, 1280 by 720. Well, guys, I use 1920 by 1080. That's the fullest resolution you can have. So once you open that in Photoshop, right here, uh, I'm gonna open up a different version of Photoshop because it's, this is all Dutch, so you guys won't be able to understand anything. So let me switch real quick. Shit, this takes long, bro. To open Photoshop, are you real? Are you out of your mind? There we go. Okay, as you can see, we are on Photoshop CC 2017. I'm going to click on File and I'm going to new make a new project as I'll, as always. So I'm going to click on File, New, and right now I'm going to fill in the resolution of this uh, project. It's going to be 1920 by 1080 pixels. Click on Create, and now we have a nice thumbnail template. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to open up the folder that, that where I have all the stuff in that I need. So as you can see right now, I have two kind of blue textures, myself, a black line, and the, the thumbnail of this video. So we're, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with dragging in myself. So this is like me with a really shocking expression. I'm just going to make it a little bit taller so it fills up the entire screen. As you can see right here, that looks awesome. So this is just myself cut out with a, black, with a transparent background. Then I'm going to just drag in the two black black lines this one is a little bit too thick so let me make it a little thinner and let me also make it a little bit longer on the sides so as you can see right now this is the first line that I always use in my thumbnails also in this one so this is the first one I'm gonna also place it down at the bottom so I'm just click on duplicate and I'm gonna just put it down uh, just like so until it has like the same distance I think this comes pretty close. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in the, the darkest texture that we have, the darkest texture rather. We're gonna drag that in and we're gonna make this one be uh, on the top lines, not in the middle. So I'm gonna place it underneath the lines and I'm going to just remove the middle part of the blue dark texture. We're gonna replace that with a lighter texture. So I'm just gonna click I'm gonna make it editable real quick. So let me just do this like so. As you can see, now we have two black borders at the top and at the bottom. And right now we're gonna drag in the lightest texture and we're gonna place that in between. So we're gonna place it right here. I'm gonna stretch it a little bit, as you can see right there, and make it also a little bit thinner. So this is the texture that we have. So as you can see, this one, lo this looks pretty legit, but we need some text. So what we're gonna do is we're we're gonna go to the text icon as always uh, at the left then we're gonna type in let's say I'm just going to type in deep web and then at underneath uh, episode so I'm gonna click on the text icon like I said and now we're gonna wait until the text icon is loaded there it is so right now I'm gonna type in uh, let's see where the text is I'm gonna type in deep web but it's really really small so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger okay so I placed a hundred and I'm going to as you can see it's a little bit too so I'm just gonna press Control T and drag it. We'll hold Shift also and just drag it until it's smaller and until it fits the screen. So as you can see, it says Deep Web, and right now at the bottom, we're gonna duplicate this layer, and I'm going to change it from Season One, Episode One. So that means S O One E O One. So that means Season One, Episode One. So we're gonna drag that guy also a little bit bigger right here at the bottom. Then we're gonna make the text go white. So just do it like this. Just select all the text, as you can see, uh, right here. Just go to the little top at the bottom, 
just go to the top, make it white. But then as you can see, it just looks very bald. So we're gonna add a little outline. So we're gonna right click on the layer. We're gonna click on blending options, enable the stroke. And as you can see, we're gonna make that black and we're gonna make it also a little bit thinner. So the stroke is seven pixels wide. We're gonna also do that onto the season one, episode one, apply the stroke, make it seven. And as you can see, this is our amazing thumbnail, deep web season one, episode one. We have two textures, the dark texture, at the top and the bottom and we have the light texture in the middle we have a shock expression of mine so people will actually click on the video and see what it is this is how you make an awesome thumbnail guys it is that simple this is how you do it so that was freaking amazing i want to thank you guys for the, for the continued support i will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new vegas tutorial where i show you guys how to create a uh, the shooting star meme so make sure you stay tuned for that thank you for the support and i will see you guys tomorrow as always so i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video just alex halford Oh,